Well, if you have driven down Summit Street toward downtown Toledo, you've no doubt noticed some changes. Ostrich Town is coming into shape, and next week you can come out and get a good look, all while helping out a local organization. Adam Cassie from Keep Toledo Lucas County Beautiful is here, so we can learn more about green time in the 419. Thanks That's for being right. here. Hey, thanks for the invite. So this is fun because it's right across the street, so we can you know, work and then play. Yeah, yeah, come on over. <laughs> bring everybody, bring all your friends. So this is in, uh, it's called Ostrich Town, but it's part of the Vistula neighborhood that's yeah. getting a nice little, you know, facelift. Yeah, absolutely. And and it is Ostrich Lane is what they're converting into a pedestrian street. So mm -hmm. lots of people ask, like, why is it Ostrich Town? What, yeah. what does the ostriches have to do with Toledo? But uh, they're leaning heavy into it. So if you drive up and down Summit Street and you see the giant ostrich murals, right. uh, you know you're in the right spot. Yeah, you drive right by us and then it's right there on the other side of the street. So mm -hmm. you're doing um, a fun event coming up. Tell us about that. Yeah, Green Time in the 419. That is a fundraiser for Keep Toledo, Lucas County Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So uh, our nonprofit that is really focused on improving recycling and reducing waste and eliminating litter and educating youth about the importance of being sustainable. Uh, and so this is a way to come out and learn about us, support our cause, and like you said, see Ostrich Town and see what it's all about. Yeah, so this is this is actually a really good deal, folks. Okay, <laughs> 10 bucks to $10. get in and you have to get your tickets ahead of time, right? But it gets you a decent amount of stuff. Yeah, I mean, food uh, from a number of, of local vendors and mm -hmm. restaurants, and you also get a drink ticket. Uh, once you're done with that drink ticket, maybe you can buy a few more drinks. But uh, where can you go for $10 to get a food and a drink? So we've got yeah. some great sponsors that have helped us kind of subsidize that cost. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think, oh, fundraiser, and you know, the food's not going to be great. But it's mm -hmm. going to be good food, and it's going to be good drinks. We're actually going to have a, a signature green drink to make it all oh, official. Yeah. It's green time. Green right, time. you have to do that. Mm -hmm. Hey, so let's talk about the food a little bit because um, you've got some you got some big names coming in to to bring the food. Yeah, well, the nice thing is that a, a, a pedestrian alley now. Mm -hmm. So on one side we're going to have uh, the Garden by Poco Piatti mm. and then Toledo Spirits serving their food and alcoholic drinks down there, mm -hmm. uh, maybe even a non-alcoholic drink. Mm -hmm. uh, and then on the other side, in the Ostrich Town neighborhood, they uh, Ostrich Town they've got uh, a Mexican restaurant moving in, mm -hmm. which is exciting. And then uh, yeah, there'll be more stuff moving in later down the line yeah. but uh, for now we're just we're just leaning on the the Mexican restaurant and then the other two vendors yeah and Poco Piatti uh, uh, um, it's delicious so uh, great stuff and yeah this Mexican restaurant is brand new folks so uh, you're gonna be able to get a taste of that really before anybody else does yeah um, but obviously as we said you know we're talking about keep Toledo Lucas County beautiful so talk a little bit more about what you can do with a fundraiser and what, how, how that's going to help you. Yeah, I mean, the exciting thing is that um, a lot of people, just like just like Ostrich Town, I feel mm -hmm. like, don't really know much about Keep Toledo Lucas County Beautiful until they learn a little bit about us. And then they're like, oh, we see you everywhere. We see your adopt a road signs right. uh, all over town. And we see you at Jeep Fest collecting recyclables mm -hmm. and pumpkin composting is coming up. Last yeah. year we got, what, 60,000 pounds of pumpkins. So Ooh. we do a lot in the the, uh, the neighborhood, in all of Toledo and Lucas mm -hmm. County. And uh, I think it's part of it just educating people about who we are and the impact that we have. So there'll be educational information uh, throughout the, the area, uh, talking about kind of our pillars, which is the reducing litter, improving recycling, uh, beautification projects, tree plantings, and then education. So you'll learn a little bit about us, uh, and then we'll be selling desserts. So okay. we'll get you food, we'll get you a drink, but if you want anything sweet, uh, we're gonna be fundraising through selling some desserts, as well as uh, some auctions, and the mm -hmm. things that you know you typically see at a fundraiser. At a fundraiser. Yeah, but we'll, then we'll take all of that funding, and turn it around, and really put it right back into the uh, work that we do to improve the community. Yeah, and you know, I talk a little bit about the impact, you know, it's it's kind of a real issue, you know, recycling and waste and litter and all that, you know. So why is it so important that we do our part? Yeah, I mean, litter uh, specifically, we're just wrapping up our, our Toledo Litter League, which is mm -hmm. our competitive litter program. And it uh, looks like we're going to get about 30,000 pounds of litter that we've collected, which seems like a lot, but you still drive around most yeah. highways, most on ramps, off ramps, mm -hmm. some neighborhoods. Uh, and, and litter really does uh, have an environmental impact for sure. Mm -hmm. It's bad for the environment. It's bad for Lake Erie. But uh, it, it also hurts the economy. It hurts our, our sense of look. pride yeah. in the community. So nobody wants to live in a neighborhood or ba bring business to a neighborhood mm -hmm. or, or city that has litter uh, or be a tourist in a city mm -hmm. that has litter. So it, it kind of holds us back. And a lot of people talk to us and they say, you know, what what can I do as an individual about global warming? You know, some of these really big, <laughs> big giant things, topics. Yeah. And I'm like, the best thing you can do is recycle. I yeah. mean, it, it, it's not broken. It works. It's mm -hmm. been around for a very long time. And it's one of the easiest ways for you to reduce
reduce your environmental impact, impact. save space in the landfill, mm -hmm. uh, use less resources, and uh, yeah, improve the environment. We can all do a little something. Okay, so this event, remind us when, where, and how people can get tickets. Yes, yeah, September 12th, it will be, that's a Thursday, from 5 to 7.30, so stop by after work, uh, have some food and a couple drinks. It will be in Ostrich Town, in the Vistula neighborhood, uh, and $10 per ticket. You do have to get them ahead of time on our website, so that is KT. Get the QR code. Yeah, there's our QR code, or you go to our website, ktlcb.org, mm -hmm. uh, and get tickets that way. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Sounds like it's going to be a fun one. It will be a lot of fun. Yep. Come on out. All right.